Welcome to Farm Focus. In this video, we'll walk you through the new and improved invoice and bank transaction. These changes have introduced improvements, such as no more pages, just one scrollable view, and adding a new line anywhere in the invoice, being able to bulk delete lines or bulk change GST type, and a new and improved process for coding large invoices. All these changes are what you, the customer, has asked for. The functionality is the same. An invoice is an invoice, a bank transaction, a bank transaction. So let's take a look. Here you can see I'm in a money out invoice. Here is some important information about the invoice. I can click here to edit it or double click anywhere in the header space. Once I'm in this space, I can edit the invoice as per normal. I can click out of the header by clicking anywhere else on the screen and it collapses back. I can view the invoice by GST exclusive, inclusive, and I can filter by all lines, uncoded lines, or zero dollar lines. I'll come back to this later. As I said earlier, there is no pages, just one scrollable view. Now let's have a look at the invoice in detail. Each line has its own box. I can click into a coded line and the box expands. I can code as per normal. Some changes to note. I can add an additional note directly. I still have my three dots. When I click into them, I still have additional options. Add new line below is a new option. This allows me to add new lines anywhere in the invoice. If I click anywhere else in the invoice, the coded line collapses. The new filter functions provide an opportunity to revise the current way you code large invoices. The recommended practice is to first filter by zero dollar lines. Now all my zero dollar lines are displayed. I can select the select all box in the corner and the screen turns blue. The blue banner allows me to undertake all these actions across multiple lines. In this instance, I am going to select delete. This allows me to bulk delete all my zero dollar lines. The use of coding rules is best practice and ideally most of your invoice should be automatically coded using coding rules. If that is the case then I filter by uncoded lines. I can use this drop down arrow key here and it will sort by description in alphabetical order. This allows me to easily use the bulk code or merge function. As the invoice lines are coded, they do not disappear. They can be found by selecting all lines. Now let's move to the bank transactions. You can see that I'm in a money out transaction. This is some important information about the bank transaction and I can edit that by clicking here or double clicking into the header. This is the grayed out match area and here is a list of all my possible matches. The most likely match will sit at the top. Note, uncoded lines are now visible but they are identified by this uncoded blue token. You can see the invoice, but you cannot select it. But you need to code it first, and you can code directly from this screen by clicking on our three dots and selecting Go to Invoice. Now we should always match bank transactions before you code them. Our recommended best practice is to actually code them from the Matching tab, and then go back to the Bank Transactions to code the remainder. Now we know not all transactions have an invoice. Let's demonstrate 
how you code a bank transaction. To code a bank transaction, click on this cross button and it will take you straight to the code line. Code as per normal and don't forget to save. So that's it. We know it will probably take a bit of time to get used to these changes, but we hope you enjoy the new features and increase speed. Have a go. If you do have reservations, download the demo data and have a play in that first. For more information, make sure you check out our Help Centre. There is a specific resource on the new invoice and bank transaction. The URL for this resource is shown here. Or use the chat bubble or talk to our support team. Thank you.